believe that God is crying out for the restoration of true church. What would you rather have? A successful church or an apostolic glory? What is the extent of your ambition in God? You want to have a snazzy program and multiply the congregation and have all kinds of youth work and retreats and nice things going and prison ministries and the elderly and all that stuff and have your budget balance, have a good staff and a happy congregation and every service will be a delight. But something more than that which is good, but that which is perfect and is the heavenly and apostolic model. For these men that were separated by the Holy Ghost by name and were sent forth by the laying out of hands shook the earth and turned cities upside down. Don't tell me about successful ministries. They can't compare. For God's sake, wake up! Call your people, Lord. Call your people with a spiritual calling, Lord. Let the voice of the Spirit call your people to attention. Call your people to sobriety. Call your people to reality. With the root and the spring of life and authority and power and dominion. Oh my God, if tonight is a word about anything, let it be a word about the cross. Let it be a revelation of God there and nowhere else. For God is nowhere else. So the church enters into the fullness of Christ. The powers of the air that rule the world will have influence in the church. Until we come into a corporate fullness, they will have influence. And until we find the cross in its thoroughness in our lives, we will not be that corporate. Or wherever there is the lack of the cross, there is the power of the air. Deliver us from safe religion. We are free. Liberate your people, Lord. Liberate your people with a faith as deep as the cross itself in our hearts. Oh, God, grant the boldness and the courage to The courage that Jesus had. A courageous consecration unto God with a deep sobriety, with a deep sense of destiny, with a deep sense of life and death and heaven and hell on every word, on every thought. I'll tell you, some of those that were sent forth by the Holy Ghost never returned. This service is being watched by a cloud of invisible witnesses who will not be perfect without you. They're wondering if you're going to get with it wondering if you're going to be satisfied with the status quo and be just another groovy and successful church or you're going to break through into the kind of realities that will again shake the earth and turn cities upside down for Christ's sake though it's going to cost you and though there'll be casualties for God's sake wake up liberate your people that which is Perfect! Call your people to reality! What is the extent of your ambition in God? The deep sobriety! For God's sake, wake up! For God's sake, wake up!